Hello everyone, Nessa here, and we're playing Venba. At least I hope that's how you pronounce it. I hope I'm getting it right. I'm so excited. This game was on the Wholesome Direct. So fun, so fun. Still working on a setup to hopefully have a camera. But mostly that seems to be just working with my live streams. So if you'd like to see my lovely face, you'll have to catch it on a live stream. But let's do Venba. Let's go. Press any button to start. Oh. Options. Controller vibrate camera bob. I don't know what that means, but we can try that. Music is a little loud, but... I can leave it like there. Sound effects. Yeah, those can stay. This looks so cute. Alright, let's do this. Let's play. Think well before you dare, and never ruminate once in action. Oh, 1988! Oh, that's when I was born! Leaving already? Ayo, sorry, did I wake you? What time is it? Eight? How are you feeling? Uh, she definitely looks tired. It's just like yesterday. Ah, uh, okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There is some leftover idli? Idli? Oh god, I'm gonna butcher everything. Idli? Idl. <laughs> Batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. I'm so sorry. Please, please tell me how to properly pronounce this. I'm really good. Ba I'm really bad at pronouncing some stuff, but knowing I'm not gonna know a lot of what these dishes are truly called, I'm so, so sorry in advance. I, I mean no disrespect. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay. I was just about to leave. It's just idlis. Very easy. I'll take. It'll take me too long, Venba. Don't worry. So she's Venba. I can't survive on the. I can survive on the coffee machine. She's like Lord. <laughs> If this was me, I'd be like, fine, I'll make it then. Wait five minutes. Venba, really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. <sighs> okay. girl you look tired as hell okay let's get this done fast although I should I try my mother's recipe for once the way I make idlis are never as soft as hers idl idlis idlis and they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick I should just make them her way today Hmm. If the recipe is still readable, that is. Oh! Oh, we got music going. Let's go. Oh, God. Okay, tools. Idle plate, towel, cooker, ingredient, water, and batter. Holes to let the steam through. 
They also have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to or it would leak. Arrange plates so the steam can cook better properly. Oh gosh, hmm. I have not made a lid with these kind of plates before. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for towels. I'm not sure why. But Ama swears this method makes the eyeless a lot softer. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's right, you can get hints. I don't know what I'm cooking. Our breakfast are a breakfast staple. They are also so little of, y of you, but they make so much back. Oh, they also ask so little of you. Sippy grind rice and some fermented lentils for that cloudy batter. And steam it to make those soft, fluffy cakes. And anyone can make it so easy. Except for my husband, I guess. Although I've never made it with my mother's cooker, so this might be a challenge. Okay, I have a feeling you gotta put water in first. Right? No point putting a plate without batter in the cooker. Oh. Oh, gosh. No? Oh god, I am going to mess this up. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see how it turns out. That should be long enough. <coughs> Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. It seems a better leak through the plate holes and spilt everywhere. Let's try. What do I do with these towels? Oh, so it has to be steamed to batter. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> uh. Oh, but I tried to do that last time and you wouldn't let me. <laughs> Alright, so we should arrange it. Like that, so the steam comes up. Okay, perfect. And then move it again. Okay. At least I'll let you try again. Okay, that looks good. Alright, let's see how this turns out. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Oh, it's done! We did it! Okay. It looks delicious. It's making me hungry. I didn't have a proper dinner. I don't know if this is a good game to play. <laughs> Aww. 
they look so cute. Oh wow, you even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my bread though. You really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out idols. Venba, I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch once. Pavlan. You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave. I couldn't sleep peacefully. I'd feel too guilty. I know I shouldn't, but you know I would. Is it so hard for you to cook even on days like this? You're right. Sorry. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So, do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shifts, or my boss changes his mind, it's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job, and there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Wow, must be nice. <laughs> she seems a little better. Venba, are you home? Oh, she looks much better. What did the doctor say? So, the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Oh, okay. Idols again? What has gotten into you today? Oh, she's pregnant! Because <laughs> there's only two before, and now they got a little baby. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. Oh, this is so sad, because it's like, I wonder if my own parents thought this. And I can't even imagine what a different life I would have if they hadn't decided to move. That's so crazy to think about. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Hmm. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I would be him. I'd just be freaking out. I'd be thinking of everything that could possibly be going wrong or 
all the decisions, uh, my anxious mind just, it could never. I would, I would be all over the place. Uh, and I guess that's what balances you out, right? You have to have one person that's like her and the other person who's like me. <laughs> Pavlan. Don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? Being outshone by one's children is a universal desired form of sweet defeat. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look how happy he looks. My name is Pavlan, sir. Pavlan, sir. Kavin. Kavin? Where did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? I don't have time to play, Kavin. I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I've managed to transport... I've managed transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Kevin, There you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. <laughs> Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No! I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Kevin, wait there. Don't run. Oh, look at... <laughs> him running and the little, um... Uh, art piece watching him run. That's cute. Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. Ayo, that towel is dirty, ya da. Here, wear this shirt, Kana. No! But, sir, you can just take me on a probation period, maybe. I'm driven, self started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Kana. Hurry up now. But I don't want to. Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Kana? I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Aww. He's struggling to find work. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. They didn't buy the hundreds of units story. I'm telling you, it's time for it, it to go. That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. <laughs> and you were paid in candy. Ah, well, I only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. I spend half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speak in Tamil, da? Oh, so the white font is their language and the yellow is English. Okay. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyways. Nah, names tell stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name after all. Who else is going to tell them? And Kavin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. <laughs> I just want to be Kevin. 
Aww. It makes sense a kid like him. You know, he wants to blend, you know, feel the same as everybody else. It's hard because you can't blame him. But at the same time, his parents want to, you know, keep their heritage alive. Keep where he comes from a part of him. It's tough. I mean, it's so crazy now. There's so many dishes um, from my parents when they were little that I used to have. Even when I was little, that it's kind of lost in a sense. Like, I haven't had it in such a long time that... I wish, you know, would have had a recipe book like she had where I could keep all those with me and be able to always do it and have that kind of connection. It's tough. It's tough. He's brighter than us, Venba. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know he aced yesterday's English quiz? He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate, Dakana. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Oh, can we order pizza? Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I want pizza. <laughs> Wait, I used to do this all the time. So it's so crazy because... So my father was fluent in English. And of course, his native language is Spanish. He came here really, really young. My mom also came here really, really young. But my mom really didn't learn English that well when I was young so we predominantly spoke English to my dad and Spanish to my mom but it was like Spanglish it was, I wouldn't know the words to certain things like him like n don't you won't know the word for pizza um, I took me forever to learn the word for like juice and stuff so I would say it to ask for it, I'd be like you quiero juice you know and asking for it and you know touching it my mom would kind of recognize but it wasn't until later on in life, really practicing with her and then taking it as an elective in school, Spanish, that I got to be able to speak it a lot properly and communicate so much better with my mother. But this is funny. This brings back memories because I've definitely done this as a child. <laughs> yeah, how about something better? Like parota. Dosa? I, I, oh god, I'm gonna butcher this. I'm so sorry. I, diam, pam, gidosa, biryani, caridosa. No, I'm tired of all these. Wow, that was all different dishes. Making me hungry. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese, extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Kevin, have you ever heard of putu? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. A rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks like a rocket launching. It does? Yes. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but... You get a nice cardboard box. Nice reverse psychology, mom. We like it. I was like, I don't want a cardboard box. <laughs> <laughs> Will it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? Smart, mama. All right, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Ama has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flower first, da? Huh? What fond memories. This must be s ugh. The in the back of your head. Okay, ingredients. Rice and water. Blend 500 grams of rice. Separate fine form clunks. Uh, Separate chunks over, uh, combine 500 fine rice water. Oh god. Alright, let's make some flour. When do we get to, get to the rocket part? Soon, da. Be patient. Okay, so we have to blend the... Oh, I have to turn it on. Chella 
Did you take the sheep over the tower to catch everything? Oh, I gotta shake it. Can I still shake this? Oh, this looks like I'm doing something right. Okay, now what? I think this is perfect. Why does this feel like a flower even though there was so much water? We have to mix the water and flour little by little. The fauna continues to feel like slightly wet sand. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Ama will... When will we get to the rocket? Oh, I got an achievement. <laughs> I did it without messing up. Oh, God. Flower coconut. Water. Put the coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. So, coconut is yellow. Coconut, flower, flower, coconut, flower, flower, coconut. Okay. Alright. This is... Straightforward. Assemble the parts of the water steams and cook what's above. The cheeky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. This sounds delicious. And in what order coconut can crumble easily. Oh. Why can't I get it on? Okay, so... Coconut. Ah! Uh, rice. Rice. Coconut. Rice. Rice. Coconut. It's lunch time, Kevin. There's a rocket. Oh, maybe when it's cooking, it looks like a rocket. Cause we, it doesn't really look like a rocket. That's pretty cool, though. That's del that sounds delicious. Rice and coconut. Oh. Wow, that was so cool. Venva, I can't believe it didn't fall. Ama, can we do that again? <laughs> That looks delicious. Oh, we are unable to offer you a secondary teaching position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Oh, is that her? Is he asleep? I think so. Kevin? Yes, he is. Good. So that interview, another dead end? Yes. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. What has he been doing this whole time then? That their son's been alive. Has the wife been working? We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Shurish, but I think you should take that salary job at his company. It's all about who you know here. We really are at the end of our rope. No, no, no. Don't throw it in his face. He's clearly trying. <sighs> and we barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose our help. 
I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. That even here we st we still have to beg people like Suresh. It's not begging. I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Kevin on that putu today? You're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Kevin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up. Get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Kevin? I just feel that, that there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. And I feel the same way growing around Kevin. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Kevin? It's hard to even talk to him. He just feels like he's growing further away from us. The other day he told me he wished he had his own room, like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. Both of these would suck. I thought I could at least get him to listen to music or watch some movies from back home. But he'd rather watch Home Alone for the hundredth time. I don't know, I'm worried. These things bother me too. But we choose, But we chose to bring him up here. Not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities, but it also comes with its own culture, language, values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yes, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Venba. He'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? Aw, he's saying what she said to him. Ah, <sighs> man, that's tough. Because I definitely remember being like that too. Watching movies and cartoon shows from here. Those fallen from their resolve or stripped of respect. Their hair fallen from the head. Oh, its eyes are closed now. That's interesting. Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavan. Pavlan. He's my dad. P A A V A L A N. She says Appa is not at the office. Oh, I had to do this so many times. Translate. Oh, I feel for this kid. He's only five. Oh, I feel for him. Oh. Does she know what time he left? Do you know when my dad left the office? Why does some of it look dirty like that when he talks? Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Maybe we can call them. Does he usually go home with someone? She says no. Dad usually never leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says all the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. She says he must have left then too. Okay, thank you. Or maybe that's just what she can't understand. Like, it's dirty like that. So she doesn't understand what he's saying at that moment. Oh my god! What happened to the dad? Oh my god, please tell me that something bad didn't happen to him. Why are we walking through the park, Amma? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kana. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If he decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said Appa left at 5. What's taking him so long? 
Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin. Enough with your questions. Sorry, Kana. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no. I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask it in Tamil. Okay? Ooh, okay. I can do that. Ahem. Okay. Okay. I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See? You can speak Tamil when you want to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? Ah, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh, yes. He loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers, when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. We know she's a school teacher. Hmm. You know I'm named after a type of poem, right? Yes, Appa told me a venba is a kind of like is kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly. No proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay. So we organized a protest. We had signs and boards and dozens of people. One day we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break. But he was the shabbiest person I had ever seen. He looked like he had just woken up. Was it Appa? Yes. Still, I answered all his questions and I hoped for the best. A week later, we all read the article that came out in the magazine. But it wasn't an article. It was a poem. It was a venba. A gorgeous one too. It was about the school, the students, our protest, and it was about me. Somehow people could ignore our protest, but they couldn't ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention, and as a result, so did our protest. The school was forced to change, and I was smitten. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, please don't tell me they're gonna find him. Why did you move here? Do you think you'll ever go back? It wasn't an easy choice. Pavlan wanted to be with me, and I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together, and they decided to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with, so... We gambled on a fresh start here and took it. Amma, I see Appa. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my gosh, she's running. Oh my god, what happened? Did he get attacked?
exciting. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. Ah, oh, look at him. So they stayed. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. I think you should have everything you need. Yes. Thanks, Pa. Oh, his eyeglasses have tape on it. I'll go help Calvin pack. Yes, more music. So beautiful. Ooh! Want some oil? Girl! What is this? Well, this recipe is completely unreadable. Layered bri biryani is really fancy. I've never made it that way before. But I've seen Ama make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering them. Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. Okay, so salt and powders, then beef. Then add water and let it reduce. Uh, how am I going to remember all of this? Don't worry, I've added it all the instructions to the recipe book I gave you. Okay, this is just the same as it. Oh! Hold on. There's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredients you add first will always fry more in the oil than the one you add next. Right, so if I want onions to turn golden brown, they have to be fried the most. I remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. Alright, yeah, so onions first, tomatoes last. Remember, add all these first. These ingredients, so expensive. Ama, why are you going through all this trouble? It's okay, D. It's a big thing to leave to another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. Oh my god. Was the cardamom in there too? Okay, so it looked like... It looked like this. 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 Amma, I wish you could see how much these cost here. You would lose your mind over these prices. Right? Then... Okay. This. Okay. Then this. Of course the tomatoes go in last. You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Amma. I'm sorry I couldn't take better care of it. But I'm fixing these now and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these. If he ever does. Alright, then all this and then the water. Right, and then water. Ah, this smells divine. I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and we can start the layering. Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> if only cooking was that easy. <laughs> wow. If only it was. Gravy is done. All that's left is the biryani. I hope I can finish it before Calvin leaves. Is he going to college? Oh no! More! Layered bi biryani. One, two, three, four. Once done, let it sit in the low flame for 30 minutes. Oh my god, all of it. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. 
the one, two, three might differ to the different layers of gravy, rice, and other things. But in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. Ah, I see. We just add all of those together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer? Yes. What's wrong, Amma? Oh, Amma, why are you crying? You know we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home. Where else will we go? I know, Kana. It's just so far away. Oh, God. So, rice first. Yeah, I guess. Oh my god, it's multiple of rice? Okay. So, rice. Beef. Rice. I feel like I did this and they still told me it was wrong. I think this is right. I have to just cover it with the lid now. Okay, I think this is it. I just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together. The rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavoring it. I can't wait. It looks delicious. I'm so hungry right now, but I cannot believe I figured that out. <laughs> that was actually difficult. Should be good now. Looks amazing. Family beef. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Oh, look at him. How is it? Oh, so good. Beef really is the best. She's like, I'm not asking you. Oh, it's really good, Emma. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Ah, uh, Amma, stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Yes, Kana, we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive, we might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh. This way, you and Appa won't have to drive all day. Oh, we wanted to see the university. I thought it'd be nice to see all the classrooms and buildings. You can give us a tour. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. It's just more convenient. There's nothing to tour, really. It's just a bunch of gray buildings. Okay, Kana. Sure. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? <laughs> Uh, maybe we can drive there next week. Drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know. Why? I packed a lot more of biryani. I've also packed some potis, pickles, and sweets. She <laughs> Did she give all the pieces to Kevin? Amma, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I've packed for your friends too. You can all eat. Amma... They don't want birani. And the whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm either. You don't want any of it? Kevin, I put a lot of effort into making all of it this week. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask. But what would you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. Brother, dad is in another world right now. <laughs> I'm just eating kusha here. <laughs> That's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. 
I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said no, Ama. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like little India anymore. I just want to be normal for once. Aww. Kana? The language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear. Only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It's just... There's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. I'll And I'll call every week, too. So please try not to worry. Okay? Okay. Oh, it's like the same stuff they said to her mom. Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who is that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. <laughs> there he goes. I suppose it's good that he's so independent. And makes his own choices. Even if they are so... Incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. Aww. We aren't able to offer you your secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. There's getting so much older. Ah, oh, I feel like I want to cry. This is getting me emotional. Oh, did Calvin reach the university? Did he text or call you yet? No. But we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. Well, maybe he hasn't got. Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us, and he hurried to hang up. Ah, oh, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Oh, sure. Let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yes, you're right. Oh, Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. But maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course not, Pavlan. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh, you made that up. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Kevin said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote too. All the stories you read to him as a child were just the ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read Tamil literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park, maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I... 
guess he wasn't the best des I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe we should have stayed. If you're going to suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, my anger is going to be anything but fleeting. But come on, I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Calvin, and I have you. Home is where you two are. Aww. It's gonna make me cry at the end, I know it is. I know it is. Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. God, did he pass? Why is his glasses there? Music's bumping, all right. Rotate. Oh, just keep rotating, okay. So hungry now. <laughs> the sounds are so good. Oh. cool if it actually remembered how I put them and it uh had me turn them in that order that would have been cool Ooh! slice Fish is so happy and I'm just chopping it.
Oh, this looks delicious. My mouth is literally watering. <laughs> what a meal! Look at the chicken. Cooking up a feast, mama. Look at this. Oh, I never went by so fast I couldn't read what it said. Oh, Tummy's not gonna come and she just cooked all that food. Thank you so much, sure, Emma. I have a lot of plans today, but I think I can stop by for a bit later tonight. Oh, oh! <gasps> we can scroll through the whole thing? Oh, we're scrolling through the whole thing. What is that? March 30th, 20. Good morning, Calvin. Have a great day. Good night, December. Good morning, Calvin. Have a great day. Good morning, Emma. Good night, Calvin. Good night, Emma. Good morning, Calvin. Have a great day. Good night. Oh, good morning. Have a great day. You have a great day. Happy birthday, Amma. Thank you. Any fun plans today? Nothing, Kana. Might go to Hoppers today. They give twice, tw uh, two times the points today. Oh, cool. Good morning, Kevin. Happy New Year, Kevin. Happy New Year, Amma. What plans today? Might see some friends. What about you? Is this Christmas? Oh, no. It's New Year's. Oh, she wouldn't celebrate it yet. Uh, not much, Kana. Come home when you have time. It will be nice to see you. Uh, not today, Ama. Maybe another day. Okay. No problem. Good night. Me? Mom. <laughs> She's sending him little YouTube memes. Good morning, Ama. Saw this and it reminded me of you. LOL. Oh, I will watch. Oh, he sent it to her. Who are these people? Can I your friends? No, Amma. It's just a meme, Amma. Never mind. How are you? Good, Kana. How are you? Had lunch? I'm good, Amma. Good night, Kevin. Good night, Amma. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. Good night, Kevin. Good morning. Oh, my God. Good morning. Have a great day. Oh, my God. Kevin, it's Appa's anniversary today. Oh. A damn past. Please call Sister Patti if you have time today. Hi, Ama. Sure, will do. How are you feeling today? Fine. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. Good morning, Ama. Good night, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Have a great day. <sighs> Good night, Ama. Good morning, Kevin. Ha <laughs> ha. Where are you getting these stickers? There is a free app. I will share it with you. No, no. It's okay. I was just asking. Oh, okay. Good night, Kana. Good morning. Have a great day. Oh. Oh. It's his birthday. Oh. If you're free today, can you come home today? It's been so long since I saw you. I'll cook your favorite mutton. Sorry, Emma, something came up last minute and I can't make it tonight. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> this really hurt. <laughs> Damn. She's like, he's all she has left to. Oh, fuck. 
I knew it. I knew it'd make me cry. Fuck. <sighs> we are happy to inform you that your application for a second day teacher position has been accepted. Without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to too many strings. Ugh. Is he selling their stuff? Oh wait! I need a, I need a, I need a second. I need a second. I really hurt. Oh God, that was so tough. Cause it's like, when I moved out for a short period of time, it was just my mom, you know, living here in the house by herself, and I could see it really took a toll on her. She got really depressive, and she lost a lot of weight. And I tried real hard, you know. It's so tough. I would uh, visit her after work since I had to drive by you know our our house before I went to my apartment I would drive by to make sure I had dinner with her every weekend to go food shopping she was 30 minutes away I would still drive the 30 minutes to her to uh you know make sure I at least got to spend the time with her and make sure she had everything so that's tough that's really tough and it's like I get it too you know he he wants to live his own life and be him and be independent as a person but it's like you don't you don't see it from their perspective either <sighs> is he sending it yo that's height the exact vibe i was looking for great but just so you know that's not usually hung inside the house but she had it in her house my dad just liked to hang it inside i want to read them what? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just needed something unique and interesting here. By the way, for the school lunch scene, I was thinking it'd be cool if we just like super diverse table of kids and they all shared food from their different cultures. What do you think Pira's lunch should be? Chicken tikka? Spicy vindaloo, maybe? Well, Priya is Tamil, so probably none of those. What if we show her eating nothing? Yeah. Like, I would bring back my lunch a lot, lol. Yeah. I was too embarrassed to eat it at school. Yeah. Maybe we can touch upon that. Yeah. Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. It's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represent Toronto. You must have a favorite dish your mom made or something, right? It just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified to even open the lid. I get... Oh my god. I get we're celebrating... Oh no! <sighs> yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. Dang it! I tried to read it as fast as I could. <sighs> yes, we could scroll. Oh, love that. Love that for us. Hey, Kevin. I wanted to ask you if you had any cool references for set designers as they are as they design uh, Pira's home. They can do their own research for sure, but maybe there's something cool you could you have in your home, something cultural and potentially obscure. Oh, I don't know, man. You've seen my apartment. It's all movie posters and games. 
There has to be something you remember growing up with your parents, right? Uh, yeah. Actually, my mom left me a box of stuff before she left to India. Oh, okay, God, she's okay. God, I was so stressed. I'll check that, I guess. Okay. Okay, if I have to give them a recipe, the least I can do is ensure it's authentic. Oh, she left him her recipe book. I can't believe Mama didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India, though. Whoa, it looked like she's fixed a lot of those recipes. I can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. Oh. Idols. Idles. This is Puttu? Oh, I remember making this one Amma and Appa. That was fun. Rirani, of course, Appa's favorite. Natu Kosi Kulambu? That's the chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. I must have been around five then. I still remember the taste, the smell, and the day she made it. There was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. Ama fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. Anyways, if I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. Oh, how helpful. She's drawn a cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first and then I can start putting it together. Tama tamarind paste. Interesting. Okay. Uh I really can't read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. It looks like I have to mix the tamarind with the water to extract its essence multiple times. Okay, what? Okay. In the same one? They're not in the same one though. Uh, mix. Oh, the water really changed color. I could add more water directly to this bowl, but that might dilute the extracted water. I need to find a way to separate the extracted water and the tamarind. isn't really changing color that much anymore. I think I've gotten everything I can from the tamarind. Let me add it to the other bowl and see. That's as much as I think I'm going to get. I think. <laughs> I hope this means that the tam tamarind water is ready. On to the next thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, got some oil in. Oh boy. Okay, well, there's no diagrams in this one. My Tama isn't the most fluent, so I might not be able to translate this fully. But maybe I could do it step by step? I think I can make out a few of these words. Toast both the grains first. Nice. I just have to figure out the missing parts and we can go step by step. Although I don't really see any grains. Did I mistranslate something? Toast both the grains first? Oh my god, I'm gonna be here forever. It's seeds, not grains. Okay. I can't count the number of times I've woken up to this sound, though. How is it already smelling so good? Oh, I can read this part easily. Next, add red 
leaves and green chilies. Red leaves? You mean green leaves and red chilies. Boy! Oh, I must have my words for red and green switched around. On to the next step. Add minced garlic and crushed ginger garlic. Add minced shallots and ginger garlic. That smells so good. It's usually around this time Mama has me waving away all the steam from the smoke detector. Hmm. What gives out? What gives out? Oh. First add blank that creates water. Then add water itself. Oh, tomatoes. Ah, oh, tomatoes. Frying it seems to release a lot of water. Well, that's what the tamarind water is for. No idea what this says, but only two ingredients left. Add to taste. This smell is really taking me back. Ama was upset because of the phone call she got from home. Did her mom pass away? That looks good. I think I remember now. I'm sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Mm. Can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. Should turn this on after I get everything in. Oh, I was like, what was missing? The little pressure top. should keep going. Wow, that looks fantastic. Chicken stock always has a golden color, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. Oh man, should we even feature this in the show? Some corporation is going to start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Okay, last step. We just have to mix these together, I suppose. Ras Rasam is usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool, wow. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aro aromatics. Gross. That looks great, Amma. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. Amma? Amma, why are you sad? It's nothing. Did I do something wrong? Hmm? 
Oh no, Kana. Not at all. I just... I heard from home. Your grandmother. Mama loves her a lot. But sometimes people have to leave and go far away. And Mama will miss her. Why is she leaving? Ooh, it's gonna make me cry again. <laughs> It's natural, Kevin. Everyone leaves someday. Us too? It'll happen to everyone. I won't leave you, Ama. Or Appa. Mm. Any recipe updates? Can I call her? Come on, do it! Wait, is his dad still alive? Because his dad's phone number was still... I'm so lost. A humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar. When fed... Oh. When fed by little hands of one's child. glasses did you go to India yeah I told you I'm terrible at this it's easy Kevin listen it's all about temperature control with dosa first pour water on the stone to reduce the heat next set the fire to the low setting Pour the batter, and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread the batter easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. And it's done! Easy, right? Yeah, for you, another dos are coming up. <laughs> Oh, the opposite way. I was like, what? Oh, leave it high. I did it! Good job! Ready to try something harder? Are you ready to try Ostapam now? The dosa will be a bit thicker this time so we can lay all the vegetables. Oh, this is like the pizza one, right? With all the toppings? Yes. Not really though. <laughs> Okay, now the toppings. Do I have to add all of them? Actually, you can just add whatever you like. Everyone's othapam is different. Just make sure to add uh, add g g first. G first. I think I'm getting the hang of this. See? I told you it's easy. I haven't made this in a while. This was your appa's favorite. 
Makari dosa is dosa with minced meat. Yes, exactly. We're doing it with mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Good job, Kevin. Now we can start adding the curry tops, like all sapam you want to add the ghee first. Then add the beaten egg as a coating, followed by the actual curry and finish it with coriander. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, beaten egg. Cook for a little bit. Another one down. This is fun. Yes, it really is. You're doing great, Kevin. You can start your own dosa restaurant when you go back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. If there were restaurants that can serve dosa like this back there, you wouldn't have missed home so much and left, huh? I came here for more than just dosa's cabin. Oh yeah, of course, I was just joking. Oh. Okay, well, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh no, no, no. I'll do it. Otherwise, they'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you then? Let me do it this one time at least. Sure, Kevin. Look at that spread. Delicious. Ama, I have something to show you. This is Ama's recipe book. Have you been using? Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too? And you wrote in Tamil? This is great, Kevin. Is this all research for that show you're writing? No, Ama. Actually, I quit that job. Oh, why? I... I felt like a fraud. I took the job because it was the first place that would hire me. I suppose the showrunners felt I could offer a Tamil perspective. But I've distanced myself from all of that my entire life. I couldn't even speak the language fluently. What perspective can I offer? I've acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for me my whole life. But now I'm acting Tamil when it, it is convenient for me? When there's a job on the line? I couldn't deal with it. It's true, Amma. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you after Appa. And every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. And Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought you would be... There would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child to read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. That's not why I came here, Kevin. You didn't? I came here because that's what's, that's what's best for me. And even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. 
What do you mean? I love living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving, and I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you. And after Pavlan. Well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Sama. How long are you staying for? Don't, I don't know, Amma. But this is nice. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Kana. But this is really nice. cute uh, we did it what a absolutely gorgeous story wow that's amazing so good Music is so good. And the way they designed the food, oh, I'm so hungry now. <laughs> Sadly, there's no um, Indian food around me to even hold a candle to what they did in this. find that on Spotify. That was good. Aww. <laughs> the TikTok wizard. Aww. Yay! Wholesome Games! I'm wearing my Wholesome Games t-shirt. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, we did it. Yeah, that was Venva. Oh my god. So, so, so good. This is truly a treat. Wow. What an amazing story. Amazing game. Oh. <laughs> if my mom was alive, I'd go and give her a big hug. <laughs> Tell me what you guys thought about it. If you guys have played it, what was, what was your favorite dish to make? Honestly, I think my favorite one was probably the rocket one. That one looked really cool. And then the big spread that we made with her. Like, that was crazy. Oh, my God. That fish. I'm going to dream about that fish because that fish looked great. And then that soup he made. Oh, that chicken stock. Like, fresh chicken stock with chicken. <gasps> I'm gonna be dreaming about that. If you guys haven't played it, please give it a shot. I actually, I know it's on the Switch and on on Xbox Game Pass. That's actually where I got to play it on Game Pass. Please, please give it a play. Give them the support. This was really great. And thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.